One minute drop off. That's right. What's that? One minute and the next one. Drop off only, no stopping. Alright. Okay. So $75 in print and pick it up there. Okay, John, we're live on the Archie Luxury Channel. We're talking to Archie. We're in Melbourne live together. We're having a discussion. And what I wanted to talk to you today about was the poorest you've ever been. Okay? Poorest ever been. Now, I can tell you this. I came from a good middle class, upper middle class, or oh, middle, middle, middle class family. And I always, as a young kid, my dad bought me some CSR shit. Mm -hmm. I was in the CSR shared reinvestment program and I bought a few more shares as life went on. I was very fortunate when I bought my first car, I had my own business, I bought a new car. Then I bought another new car, I was stupid to buy another one, but fuck it. When I was relatively young, I went to a lot of restaurants, I had, I had a reasonably good life. The poorest I've ever been is after getting divorced, John. Yeah, yeah. I was so poor. I was so poor, John. I was so poor. You eating pot noodles, were you? I was so <laughs> poor. I was living in my dad's rental house rent free. Uh, rent free, otherwise I'd be homeless. I was so poor that I couldn't afford to buy a car. I had a second hand X taxi. Yeah. where someone had used a can of fiddly bits and spray painted where it said yellow cabs, they'd spray painted it out yeah. so, so it wasn't illegally yeah. parading as a taxi. I was paying $70 a week for that car. Just to get around. Not your car, just, Not, just no, 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 renting. I couldn't afford it. Just, just renting, it. Oh, renting right. it. I was so poor, John. I remember I had bad depression as well. Fuck, it's just... What only thing I could say is I drove taxis and taxi driving is such a horrid job. Mm. You we working twelve hour shifts. Mm. I was so tired I didn't have time to think about how bad my slop in life was. When were you the poorest? So so that I was poorest when how old was I? That was two thousand and four. Two thousand and four. So that, that means two thousand and four. How old was I then? I was 32, 32. Did that stop you eating rump steak every night? Did it affect your diet, what you ate? Yeah, you I, I did, I did actually, I got a bit thinner. I've got to be honest with you, John. I I, uh, I, I, I made food, but I, I never, I was always just, I just anxious. I, I was anxious, I was anxious. And to be honest with you, I probably jumped into my next marriage really quickly. Most folks do, don't they? because I thought I needed that when I should have fucking, in hindsight, I should have said, hey, slow down, slow down. Yes, there's a few little financial problems. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, what really fucking sucks, this is, I've got, I, I, what really fucking sucks is that normally when a bloke gets divorced, his personal finances are a bit shit. A bit shit. They're destroyed. They're destroyed. Well, well, no, what, what, what I mean is, he's lost his he's lost his equity in the house. Yeah. But he's also he's usually his credit card has been raked up a bit. Yeah. He's spent a bit too much because he's you know things are going shit and he's. Yeah. Lucky to keep your super, but that's no good to you until you're sixty five anyway. But 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 then what happens is you find yourself. You normally. Have got a few debts, a few bills, personal loan, and a credit card. Mm. When you try and pay that off by getting a second or third job, uh -huh. <laughs> what happens is thirty percent goes in tax because you're already yes, earning a basic yes. thing, so that that, uh -huh. that whacks that. Thirty percent goes in fucking extra child maintenance. Yeah, twelve. Yeah, twenty-four percent right. goes up there. Thank you. You're earning thirty percent in the hand. That's right. And thirty cents in a dollar. For every yeah. you know, for, every, for every thousand dollars you're only getting the three hundred. Lucky to put petrol in the car. That's how bad it is, and and I, and I got to tell you, I've been so poor. The poorest I've been has been after after marriage breakups, John. 
How, yes. more, how badly were you hurt? Two hours and 640. And at least you had a job to go to still, by, didn't you? Your job was still... Yeah, there, yeah was I still had my job. You know, I still had my job. Yeah, two, two hours and 640 grand down, down the tube was the first time. Two houses and 640 grand. That's what she got. And she's <laughs> blown the lot. Yeah, cut it out in two years at the casino. That joint there. And did she say anything about that built, or not? Built the top Did she admit that to you? Well, yeah, she knows. She knows she did it. So does everyone else in Melbourne. She does know. Yeah, she knows she lost it. What game was her, her poison? Uh, she used to like the blackjack. Blackjack she used to like. Could she play? Obviously not. No, obviously not. Obviously not. Obviously not. And, and how could she lose two houses? Like she actually sold one or got a mortgage? Sold, sold one, you know, sold one, and you know, that all went into the casino. And did she say, hey, I'm doing something stupid or? Well, I don't think toys think that way when it comes to gambling, do they? They just keep bet, 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 betting. But, she you know, thought it would come back? Most gamblers do, don't they? You know, they throw good money after bad. So what's the poorest you've been in your life? Poor, well, after that, you know, like, you know, she had almost took a million off me. You know, we, you know, the houses were paid off. You know, that, you know, we're talking, what? 20 years over, ago? More than 20 years ago. You know, the, you, know, the, you know, the houses be worth over a million each now. One just, yeah, one, yeah, I know one just sold. You know, for over a million, there's only a two bedroom house in Caulfield. You know, nice, you know, nice, you know, suburb in Melbourne. You know, you know that, that sold for over, you know, a million bucks a few years ago, a two bedroom house. You know, I still would have had that. Does that make her upset that she's lost it, or what does she say? Well, she's renting now. She's renting a bungalow while on someone's house in Springvale. You know, what do you expect me to buy her house? You now she had her go. Yeah. Well, where did it go? My missus keeps on saying to me, she said, why don't you invite her here to stay? I said, you're joking. She'd got that, my missus. She'd got my ex-wife coming back, you know, sleeping in the bungalow in the back. Would she cop you dipping in the wick there? I don't think she'd mind. <laughs> you know, as long as it made me happy, as long as I was kicking in the money. Fuck. They're not possessive over them in that way, the ties. If they know that you, you know, they've got you. It's like when I was in Bangkok. My missus didn't mind me going out in Bangkok. As long as I came home every night time. Like it might be six o'clock in the morning, you get home, as long as you get home. You know, like the first night I was there, you know, we got to the hotel about 11 o'clock, I've been about 10 to six in the morning. You know, my markings rang up, you know, didn't have time to shave, you know. So John, poorest you've been, what's the poorest you've been? As far as you know, having a job and income, you know, like uh, you know, my financial status as far as the property I owned and you know, the cash I had in the bank was, I suppose, the worst after I, you know, I got the divorce after the divorce settlement. Were you upset about it? Pleased to have it off the books, mate. Pleased to have it. Off. Pleased to sign it away. I was, you know, you know, sign here, you know, like she, she's not coming back for seconds. She's not coming back for seconds. Yes. Look, I, like I invited to Christmas dinner. You know, invited to Christmas dinner because my daughter comes over for Christmas dinner. I can't stand looking at her. Put put a knife between her eyes over Christmas dinner. Yeah. You know, like, like any place you know likes to fork out a million bucks on a shield. It's when it's a lot know? of money. That was a million dollars, fucking twenty years ago. Yeah, twenty not years million, ago. It's like not now. Five million today. What is it like now? Three million today. Three, yeah. Well, what was the house said? The house was 100,000 then. You know, basic house was 100,000. Basic house, you know, 500,000 now. So what, five times the amount? So what, equivalent to five million? Plenty of fish and chips for five million. <laughs> Keep those New Zealanders happy. <laughs>